Hello there! This video will go over how to install the game Flare in our Linux desktop on a Chromebook. If you are interested in Linux on a Chromebook, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on a Chromebook without running. Flare is a one-player 2D action RPG game where the character you play is someone that has been exiled from their homeland and is now trying to regain entry. To install Flare, we are going to go to the menu and in the Preferences category, we are going to open up Synaptic Package Manager. Once Synaptic is open, we are going to make sure we are online at this point because we are going to click on the Reload button to get the most up-to-date list of all the available software packages in Synaptic. When Synaptic is done reloading, we can then click on the Search button and search by name for Flare. When the search is done, we can then right-click on Flare, select Mark for Installation, and then click on Mark for the additional required changes. After that, to download Flare, we need to click on the Apply button and then click on Apply again to confirm we want to download Flare. From there, all we have left to do now is to wait for Flare to finish installing. When the Changes Applied window comes up, we can go ahead and close out of that, and then we can close out of Synaptic. Now we can start up Flare by going to the menu, and in the Games section, we are going to select Flare. To make the Flare window full screen, we can do Alt, Search, Dash on our keyboard. In the main menu, we can either start the game, make various configurations, take a look at the credits, or exit the game. When we start the game, we are able to choose what our character looks like and their class. After that, we are then introduced to the story, and then we are given some of the basic controls. We can move our character by either using the A, S, W, D keys, or by using the arrow keys. To execute a primary attack, we do a left click, and to execute a secondary attack, we do a right click. Remember, a right click on a Chromebook is a two finger click on the mouse pad. To aim our attacks, we simply move the cursor in the direction we want our attack to go in. Lastly, the spacebar is used for actions such as talking to other characters and collecting things. Now we'll see that there's a bunch of squares on the bottom of the screen. Hovering over any of the squares will tell us what the square is for as well as what the hotkey for it is. Now the squares on the right are the game menus. The first one with a picture of a head on it is the character menu. This gives us the character stats and is where we can level up our character. The next menu with a picture of a treasure chest on it is the inventory menu. This tells us what we have equipped and what we are carrying. The next menu with a picture of a fist on it is the powers menu. This is where we can select and level up our powers. The menu after that, with a picture of a book on it, is the Log menu. This gives us a list of the current and completed quest, as well as notes on what has happened in the current game session. Finally, the last square with four smaller square buttons in it are the other features that can be toggled on and off, such as the map in the top right corner of the screen. Now to pause the game, we simply just need to click on the Escape key. This is also where we can save and exit the game. Now for more help or information about Flare from a terminal, we can do either Flare space dash dash help, or we can do Man space Flare for a more detailed help. Flare also has an official website called flarerpg.org where they have more information about Flare, updates on what's new with Flare, and downloads available for multiple platforms including Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and a lot more. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, The Chromebook Guide to Google Linux. And other than that, see you soon!